How do you do the impossible? You see, there are people in the world every single day, not just in the world, but in our worlds, the worlds that we inhabit, the people that we know that will tell us that things are impossible. At different points in my life, people have tried to bind me with what they thought, basically their assumptions, their expectations of what they thought I was capable of doing. Is it possible to tie a knot in a piece of rope without letting go of the ends? Do you know that if you went to the mathematics department at any major university and you asked a specialist in topology if such a thing would be possible, they would instantly say, tying a knot in a piece of rope without letting go of the ends is impossible in a three-dimensional world. Just a moment ago, we agreed that it would be impossible to tie a knot in a rope without letting go of the ends. And now perhaps we know it is in fact that the impossible is in fact possible. The B in Live Big stands for belief. Because the things that we believe about ourselves always prove to be true. I think I can audition for this play. I had no trouble getting a role. I don't think I can learn sleight of hand. Didn't learn it. Didn't even try. Wouldn't even open my mind up to the possibility of doing it. Live big with belief. Everything begins with imagination. When I wanted to go out for that play, I remember there were a few days before the auditions and I just kind of sat in the, when I wasn't working on something, I would sit in the theater audience and I would look at that stage and I would see myself up on that stage. I didn't really know that I was using these sort of universal principles. I just know this is what I did. I've always had a strong imagination. I would see myself up on that stage. And then when I got to go be on the stage, I would look out into this empty audience and I would see an audience full of people. And then I would, I would, I would see them and I would imagine myself saying a line and these people over here were laughing and then doing something else and these people were having fun and at the end when it was all said and done I saw everybody stand up and applaud and they were applauding me not but they were not pointing me out because of something that was negative they were not alienating me or embarrassing me for something I had no control over they were standing up and they were applauding because of something I could do something I could do well and something that I was great at that's what I had in my head if you want to take whatever that is impossible challenges that that you're having to deal with and shatter it. If you want to climb that really high wall that feels impossible to climb, or you want to just throw off those labels that people have put on you, see it in your mind, and here's the real secret. This is the real secret. See it in your mind first, and number two, feel it in your soul. When I say feel it, I mean feel the outcome. What's it feel like to win an international award in a magic competition? What's it feel like to get a role and get a standing ovation from a group of people who are used to making fun of them? What does that feel like in your soul? If you really want to get fired up about something, if you want to do something that truly feels impossible, like when you walked in here, if you're dealing with something that feels impossible to overcome, see it in your mind, feel it in your soul. Feel the outcome. Which leads us to the question, what is impossible? Or maybe a better question is, what is possible? Imagine being a young boy trapped inside your own body. The seven-year-old was seated in the passenger side next to his dad on his way to school. He was continuously rubbing his chin against his collarbone and he couldn't stop. He'd been doing this on and off for several days and his neck was starting to get red and irritated. Look, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, a straight jacket is not a good look for most people. There's only a few of us that can pull it off. <laughs> I have had Tourette syndrome since childhood and in the past five minutes, I've just done two impossible things. The first thing I did, I escaped from a straight jacket, something that for over a hundred years was believed could not be done. The second thing I did was to step on the stage with Tourette's. The world constantly ask Harry Houdini how he did the things that he did. In addition to being a great magician, Harry Houdini was the world's finest escape artist. And they said, how do you do these things? This is not a magic trick. This is a physical feat. What you saw is exactly what it takes to escape from a straitjacket. There is no secret to it other than what you saw. 
But instead of answering their question, instead of saying, well, you know, I worked hard or what, what he did was he gave them this piece of wisdom. He didn't give them a secret like, oh, here's the secret to the trick. Here's what he said. They said, how did you do that? And he said, my mind is the key that sets me free. When you attempt impossible things, it's scary. Let me tell you a time when I was scared. Doing this. I didn't want to do this. Not stand in front of you. I didn't want to talk about this. I was into my 30s and I would not talk to anyone about having Tourette's syndrome. I really didn't even want to talk to my parents about it. I didn't want to say the words. Scared the hell out of them. Because it was my weakness. At least that's what I thought. It was the thing that I had no control over. It wasn't for any fault of my own that I had this. And I had to live with this. I had friends that have known me since childhood that we, we it was never brought up. It was never talked about. The idea that I would be willing to stand in front of you and have this discussion is ludicrous to me 10 years ago. What feels impossible or what felt impossible? When you walked in, everybody's dealing with something. The thing I learned when I first started talking about this is that we're all dealing with something that feels impossible. At some point in life, I assure you, everything may be going great, but at some point in life, it's all gonna, it's all gonna go downhill and you're gonna have to deal with something that truly is overwhelming. We were asked the question, now what? Now, go forth and do your impossible. Jason Michaels fills the stage with personality, comedy, and fun. When your audience enjoys his hit show, Jason Michaels Live, they will experience the best magic and illusion culled from a career that spans over 25 years. All right, quick, Michael. Right and left. Are you ready to laugh? Jason will check that box. No, it's true. This is how women make decisions. Guys. Do you want to be deeply amazed? That is one of Jason's specialties. How about a guarantee that everyone will have a blast? Jason's got you covered. Uh, all right, you can help me out. Outstanding. Join me up on stage. That must be why Jessica Bliss of the Tennessean said, both jaw-dropping and inspiring, a Jason Michaels performance is definitely worth the experience. When Jason involves your guests through laughter and audience participation, you'll understand why Jim Owens of Prudential exclaimed, it was both refreshing and relaxing to just sit back and be entertained by a truly Vegas quality show. Go ahead. Oh, what, what is it? What is it? So before you open it up, it's a, what is it? It's a folded up card. It's it's singed though, isn't it? It's kind of singed. Yeah. Go ahead and open the card, see what it is. And if it is in fact what we think it is, take a look at it and then show them. Show them right there. The queen of hearts. Because his show is free of any risque material, Jason has performed in 15 countries and is a favorite with cruise ships, the United States military, corporate audiences, and performing arts centers looking for a dynamic and fun family-friendly show. It's tonight's <laughs> volleyball. Engage Jason Michaels for your group, and you'll see why Jim Ward, a former entertainment director and cruise industry veteran, said, Jason Michaels is a crowd favorite solid magic and great audience participation. 
I always enjoy his act and recommend him highly. 